live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Dell EMC World 2017. Brought to you by Dell EMC. Welcome back to Las Vegas. The, we are here with theCUBE, live coverage of Dell EMC World 2017. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, Keith Townsend. We're joined by John Siegel. He is the Vice President of Product Marketing for Dell EMC. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Pleasure to be here, as always. Oh, Cube veteran. We're always happy to have repeat yeah, customers. Yeah, yes. One of the highlights of the week, every time. Yes, excellent. So, I want to start out by talking about who your customer is and what his or her problems are. IT professionals are juggling a lot of different responsibilities and pressures. How do you approach your customer? I think, I think what it starts down to, and, and so uh, I'm, I'm with the Converge Platforms and Solutions Division, and so a lot of what we're helping customers with at the end of the day is how do they spend a lot less time integrating and maintaining their infrastructure and more time supporting their end users, their end users right? And, and what we hear more often than anything else, the one word I keep hearing all week has been around agility. Right, is, is you know, how do I have more agility? How can I be more responsive to the business in terms of, for example, developing applications more quickly, right, and faster to market, uh, whether it's bringing new initiatives to market, new products to market, et cetera. So it's all about speed and agility uh, from an IT perspective, and, and what they can't do is they can't keep up the agility when they're spending so much time integrating. Right, so that's really what, so that our, our user really tends to be the, the ones that are more forward looking bold and are really looking to you know, make a mark um, on their company and on the business. So it's agility, it's speed, uh, as well as cost pressures too. How, so what are, what are you coming out with? Tell, tell us about some of the big announcements you've made. Yeah, so I think, you know, and, and I, we're, we're with the, the Converge Platforms and Solutions Division, so really the, the, the fastest growing part of the IT industry today really is around hyper-converged and converged, right? It's all about helping companies, you know, do spending mu much more time innovating and much less time integrating. And, <laughs> no, no, no. But and, and with that, uh, hope you can still hear me. Um, and, and, and with that in mind, you know, we have yeah, solutions so and products that are turned key in that way, that so customers no longer have to spend their time trying to figure out, okay, how do I build this logical infrastructure to actually support my applications and users, and then how do I maintain it? Whereas we, we actually provide a turnkey solution, which allows our customers to spend a lot less time fiddling, if you will, with their integra integration infrastructure. So let's talk about the history of HCI, or converged infrastructure. We can, you know, sometimes it's called a converged infrastructure, hyper-converged infrastructure. So, you know, from the beginning, to where we're at today and then the announcements around that you guys are made around VX Rack. We started out with that basic three node model with, you know, we were solving basic problems in the data center around VDI, the speed of specific applications. Enterprises, we got a taste of that, we want a little bit more of it, and right. now it sounds like VX Rack is that little bit more. That's a great point, yeah. So, so as you said, so HCI or hyperconverged really is taking off in the industry. Um, and I think that is, it is, just really is that answer to agility, right? I think it's really that response to agility and how it's software defined, if you will, right? And that approach. And so, uh, what we found now is that hyperconverged has now been adopted by 50 or 60% of enterprises in some form or fashion. Um, because they like the idea of software defined, they like the idea of it's cloud, it's really a good foundation for the cloud, right, at the end of the day, right. that's what it is. But what we're finding is now some customers are saying, you know what, I need a little more software defined, I actually want to go all in on software defined. This is where we find the bolder, if you will, CIOs of the world that actually want to go all in on software defined, and that's where they want to start to adopt, well, in order to adopt hyper-converge and software defined at scale, you need to consider the network. Right, the network needs to be a part of that equation. You need to, you need to consider not just the compute and the storage part elements of it, but the network as well as part of that. Uh, and so what we do with, with VX rack addresses, essentially it treats the network as part of the system design. And this is really funny how this is happening. Yeah, so <laughs> eventually this, this headset is, <laughs> is so key thing about it. It, it, is, it is like, it's like the integrating versus uh, you know, innovating So here. let's talk about the network, and that, uh, hopefully I can help frame the network while your headset is getting Traditionally, that three model HCI solution has challenged the, net, the network teams and the server teams and the storage teams. We, we enjoyed the simplicity of HCI because we could consume it easily. But when we went to scale, we found that we ran into storage performance issues, which then affected the virtual machines. Then, of course, that uh, impacted the application. 
So HCI up to a certain point was all about storage and compute and nothing about network. That's right. So VxRag addresses that network bottleneck. That's exactly right. And I think what we found is that a lot of customers have uh, underestimated, if you will, the importance of the network when it comes to an HCI solution. You're right. So what, what the appliance has done, we have HCI appliances today and customers bring their own network, if you will, and that works fine for, for smaller deployments. But you're right, once you get up to eight, 10 appliances, if you will, or more, eight nodes, that's when the network becomes really critical because you have much more east-west traffic and, and north-south traffic going across the nodes and between systems and between cabinets. Suddenly, that network is, as you know, is that's what affects the availability, the performance, right, uh, of the applications at the end of the day, which is what it's all about. So what are you seeing from your most successful customers in terms of solutions, in terms of the ones that aren't underestimating uh, the importance of the network? Yeah. Uh, what are you seeing in, from them and, and what, what would you like to see replicated across industries? Yeah, I, I think uh, our, our customers today that are adopting HCI at scale or software defined at rack scale, um, oftentimes we have everything from uh, service providers, as you might imagine, those that actually want to provide you know, a HCI foundation for their cloud, right, IaaS. It's a really good foundation for that because you know, if they want to build, inf you know, and if they want to support a wide range of applications, what VxRack does, it allows customers to support a wide range, whether it's enterprise uh, workloads, traditional workloads, or cloud native workloads. Or customers that want to not just support, for example, maybe VMware hypervisor, but also maybe uh, hypervisors such as uh, from Hyper-V, Hyper from Microsoft. They may even want to go bare metal and support containerized applications and containers. So uh, what we find is the customers that actually have a broad set of applications in particular, uh, that want to go all in and hyper-converge, they want to modernize their infrastructure, they want to save money, uh, they want to simplify operations, uh, those are the customers that we're seeing uh, really, uh, really succeed here. So we hear this term as customers, cloud, customers, whether it's enterprises, proper uh, community clouds, public clouds, what's the market for VxRack, VxRail, compared to uh, the traditional three box solution? Yeah. Are we limited to just enterprises deploying private clouds, or are you guys actually in the public uh, cloud market with your partner, which is, for example, your vCloud network? Are, are yeah. they adopting uh, VxRack? So yeah, so VxRack and Hyperconverge in general is actually being adopted everywhere. It's being adopted by not just you know, medium-sized companies but large enterprises as well, like you said. And it is really, uh, as a, as a really a starting point for customers that want to start to build that foundation for the cloud. They may want a, a hybrid cloud. Um, what what, what Hyperconverge really does, right, is provides a really agile on-prem solution with a nice opportunity to leverage the public cloud as well. So it is being leveraged heavily in what we call you know, hybrid cloud solutions and areas by both medium and larger companies. Um, we also have a number of service providers now that are leveraging, if you will, ra VX Rack, right, as a solution, because what they're able to do is, is basically spin up new applications, new users very easily, that they wouldn't be able to do with traditional infrastructure. John Siegel, thanks so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure having you on the program. You're welcome, it was a pleasure to be here. Thank you. I'm Rebecca Knight, for my co-host Keith Townsend, we will have more from Dell EMC World coming up after this.